Hey guys and welcome to this video. So today I am unboxing something huge, something big, but I have been reading about this and also seeing a lot of it on social media in the hair care community specifically and everybody has only good things to say about it. So I decided why not just splurge, get the whole hair care line so we can try it right here on my couch in front of you guys with wet hair because as far as I remember all of these products were post hair wash. So this video is going to be my first impressions as I open this box actually it's already open but as I unveil each of the products but if I like this I may be able to try it for a couple of weeks and really again sit together share my review of it right from this heart. Anyways, without further ado, let's open this big box of goodies or at least unveil its products because I'm really excited to try the first product that we have here which is the Honey Infused Leave-In Conditioner. I'm going to zoom that right in. Now this one retails for about $16 for 60 ml of the product. It is supposed to be this lightweight hydrating post wash conditioner that really helps smooth, detangle and protect the hair since it's supposed to detangle. So obviously as you can see I haven't really brushed my hair and uh, we are going to spray a couple of uh, sprays of this on my hand and then apply it to the lens of my hair. Now I have to say it does smell divine and I love the quantity of this for the cost. The application is definitely non-sticky but it's taking a while to dry off from even my palm and it is a little bit over hydrating which is a good thing and I'm not complaining. Now let's see if it can really detangle my hair and see if that really worked. Now as you can see I have slightly combed through my hair and one good thing about combing right after putting on your leave-in conditioner is that it helps to spread the product throughout the lens of your hair which is something that I like. Okay so I do feel like my hair is a little less brassy, it's smoother but I'm not really sure whether it helped with detangling so at least I agree with the hydration for now. Moving on the next product that we have here is the Propolis infused polishing primer. On first thoughts, I am really impressed because the product ingredients do state that right after water, the next ingredient is actually sweet almond oil. Now, this product is definitely supposed to help with ensuring strong hold for styling, but also really reduce the styling time and also diminish frizz. So if this does work, I am sure I will know because the amount of frizz in my hair I am probably the best tester for this product. Now this one sells for about $34 for 75 ml of product which is not bad but it is still a bit pricey. As you can see it comes in this pink aluminum tube with a screw on screw off cap. Now let's start to open this up so that I can start to apply this on my hair. The brand does suggest to squeeze a pea-sized amount of primer onto the palms of your hand and warm by rubbing the hands together and you have to work your hands through damp or dry hair by running fingers from root to the tip and you can style as desired. Now I have to say that my hair does not feel as dry as they normally do and I'm not sure whether it's because of this primer or was it because of the previous leave-in conditioner Whatever it is, it is definitely working. Alrighty, so the next product that we have here is the Propolis Infused Heat Protecting Spray. Now this one is supposed to be the Heat Me, Treat Me, Complete Me spray protector and it retails for about $41 for a 200 ml bottle. Now this is supposed to be a multitasker. It's supposed to protect the hair up to 450 46 Fahrenheit which is about 230 Celsius. It's also supposed to add texture, control frizz and strengthen and prevent breakage. Now that I've really applied the product and I see that it's almost dried out, I think it's good to go in with the Dyson.
now that I'm done drying my hair, I do feel like there is definitely a difference in the way my hair dried out. Uh, they normally would dry out only from the ends but not from the crown and it would take longer. I feel like my ends were a little bit more hydrated which is a great thing because that's the place wherein I suffer the most but I do feel like my hair is still a little bit wet I think I can dry up my crown a little bit more before really going in and applying the rest of the products that we have here another round of blow drying and I think my hair are almost there we just need something hydrating a little bit more setting and I think we have the right product for that so let's just try it all but before I do that, I do want to comment on a couple of things that I saw, especially while I was blow drying. I did see a major impact of the product in helping my hair dry faster, but also not leave it really dry after my blow dry. So for the frizz, I do see it has reduced, though that is something I do believe changes after a couple of uses only. So if you are interested in seeing my updated review of any of these products, send me a big thumbs up and also send me a text in the comments down below and I will probably do a refresh in a month or two. Now there are three more products that I'm excited to try, one of which is this Propolis Infused Texturing Wave Spray. Now this one retails for $39 for about 50 ml of the product. Because I am not retexturing my hair today, I will not be applying this on my lens but that does not stop me from spraying this a bit and almost giving it a whiff to see what it really smells like. As you can see it comes in this plastic packaging uh, with a see-through bottle. I do actually enjoy the packaging of each of these products. I am going to give it a quick whiff right now. Okay, so it does have a fresh, mildly floral, almost quickly disappearing kind of fragrance that I definitely can live with. As of now, I do feel like it dried quickly and may give a quick hold to my hair because it's a little bit sticky and irritating on my hands but obviously that's not meant for my hands so only time will tell with this product because I'm not applying it today so send me a text in the comments below. Alrighty so now we have to quickly move on to one of their star products here which is this honey infused hair oil. As you can see it's only about 50 ml of the product that I have and it retails for about $46. This is supposed to be a multi-purpose hair oil that can be used for like pre-styling, a finishing product or even as an overnight treatment. Now the brand does suggest that this product is supposed to nourish, repair and protect your hair. As I open this, I can see there's a glass bottle which earns them a point since I personally don't like carrying any plastic products or even plastic packaging and one great thing about glass bottles is that they're sustainable to even reuse the packaging. Now since I have very thin hair, one big worry that I have with any post styling hair oil is that it can make my crown really oily and this would be a good product to really try it on like that because I don't want that in a couple of days I'm just washing my hair again and again just to take that oil out. So let's open this bottle up. Now as I open up this oil, I do realize that the oil is not at all thick. It's almost liquidy, it's serum-like and it doesn't feel very sticky as well, which is a great thing. It does rub easily on the hands, but obviously it's not meant for my hands. So I'm going to take a little bit more of these drops to just spread it through my hair. It seems to have a nice light peachy fragrance that quickly spreads and is not lingering which is great because I have a final product with me that will give the fragrance to my hair all that they need but before we jump ahead I must share that it's extremely smooth it seems to have given my hair a nice shine which is what I love it's not at all oily especially in my crown and I'm so thankful for that. I did apply a little bit on the tops of my hair just to ensure that my flyaways and little frizziness on the forehead can really go away and I do feel like that definitely 
did help i am liking this product as of now but over time we will see if this really transforms the hair especially with the overnight treatment now given that i only used a couple of drops of this product i am so glad that this product which is a 50 ml bottle will really go a very long way so after this is the final product it's the last but it's not the least we have here with me the honey infused hair perfume in the floral edition now this one is a 50 ml bottle and it retails for about $44 comes in this beautiful glass bottle that i already love and i can almost get a little whiff of the notes of lavender berries so let's just spray a little bit on the lens of my hair to see if it's really that beautiful i am not complaining i do get that beautiful aroma of sexy lavender and berries scented perfume and i'm already loving it now as you can see i did apply a couple of sprays and my hair smell fresh and cozy so i am glad that this product will last me a long long time Now though this one is a little bit of an autumn scented perfume I have the Jisoo trial size perfume of the original which is supposed to be a more summer honey based scent which is equally beautiful which is why I was excited to try the floral scent as well and I'm so happy that I did so with that beautiful aroma all around me and in the air it is time for me to say goodbye and thank you for spending time with me if you like this video don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i will see you in my next video next week but until then you take care love yourself and stay beautiful bye